Welcome back. We're at the lower level of the uh, Deltor. Let's see what we can discover here. From the looks of them, these globes contain high-power Wally coils, coils, each one capable of discharging jillions of volts of deadly electricity. Jillions of volts? That's a lot. Your engineering expertise informs you that this is a car carelessly discarded Williamson coil. What engineering expertise? Of course, it could also be a humongous escargot. Quite possible. It looks like a great place to curl up and take a nap. Too bad you're in such a hurry. It's an expensive looking machine that goes ping. I prefer pong. Uh, this close to the Wally Globes, all your nose hairs are standing on end. Garlic, chives, butter. Nice recipe for snakes. Uh, snails, whatever. It smells expensive. I don't think you want to do that. Well, yeah, I agree. Oh, come on. Not bad. Oh, well, let's see what uh, we can find around here. And... Ooh, this looks interesting and important, considering the guard. Kawabunga, we will go. This is it. It's the unimaginably powerful star generator, which must not at any cost be allowed to remain in the hands of the evil Syrians. But you knew that, right? Of course we did. Something tells me this guard isn't going to make it easy to uh, get close to it, though. This is the biggest, toughest, not to mention ugliest, Syrian guard you've ever seen. At present, he is diligently guarding the star generator from intruders such as yourself. He is wearing some sort of gadget on his belt, but from here you can't tell what its purpose might be. Well, we can't touch it. It actually looks like it might be protected by some kind of force field, although it doesn't look like I can actually look at that. And these things do nothing when you try and look at them. Nor does the space outside. You're in another area of the Deltor. Can we talk him into letting us through? This is a guy of few war words, none of them for you. If you touch him, he might touch you back. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a way to get around this guy or knock him out or something. So let's see what lies to the left of here. This is the same expensive looking machine that goes ping. It's either a mega frequency wide band spectrophonic analyzer module or one of those really old table model radios. I'm guessing the former. A panel of flashing lights. Printed near the bottom in tiny precise letters are the words ODA Generator, Model EC54, Deltar Backup Unit Number 1. Oh, that makes it perfectly clear then. What a perfectly useless looking piece of decoration. You're continuously astonished by the Serian decorative scheme. You're on the lower level of one of the hallways on the Deltor. Why not? It's in plain view. The whole ship smells like Sarians. Ah, you can't smell anything. The static electricity clinging to the spectrophonic module tickles your tongue, not unpleasantly. If you're into that sort of thing, don't put that in your mouth, you don't know where it's been. Well, it's been right there, I guess. Sarian cooties are everywhere. Well, let's take this elevator up to the upper level. see what we can find here. Interesting. Hmm. Another one of these thingies. Descriptions are getting less uh, creative, aren't they? It seems obvious to you that Wally Wood did some of these... Uh, did some time designing Serian hardware. I have to admit, I have no idea who Wally Wood is. It sort of looks like a speaker, doesn't it? But it isn't. 
This, uh, okay, this is still the same. A subtle odor, a subtle ozone odor clings to the egg-shaped doodad. You get no clues from the smell. Tongue zaps are no fun. Oh, it's mostly talk messages, which are no fun. Let's see. Bottled energy. Like everywhere... Uh, like everything around here, the pipes are extremely colorful. It makes you wonder if the Sarians got a good deal on paint. Either that or they're colorblind. You're on the upper level of one of the hallways of the del on the Deltor. Just another one of those fascinating bits of alien hardware. Room at the ready, the cleaning droid waits for something useful to do. The electric charge around the globe tickles your nose hairs. Smells sort of blue, but is in fact purple. The heady sense of petroleum distillates and Syrian refuse titillates your nostrils. You really don't want to lick this. If it smells like Syrians, that's all. You can't be serious. Yes, I am. Alright, enough mucking about. Fooey! You stupid man, I spit on you! But you can't. What do we have here? Looks like a weapons locker. Oh, welcome to the weapons dispensary, I guess. I've got an IQ of 5,000, but they feel I'm only good enough to fetch weapons. Like some whimpering puppy dog. You'll have to show me your ID card so I can scurry off and fetch your weapon. Why they don't just wire me into the ship's system so I would know who you are, even without an ID card, is beyond even my supreme intellect. In case you can't tell, this here droid is obviously based on Marvin, the paranoid android from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Life. Don't talk to me about life. I've got this awful pain in the diodes on my left side. You carbon-based lifeforms are so annoying. My counterpart at Yulin's Flats on Corona told me about this one pesky humanoid in a grungy blue spacesuit who just kept pestering him. Oh, why does committing genocide seem such a good idea right now? Hey, is he talking about us? When did he have the t chance to talk to that droid? A robot serves behind the counter. Its appearance is that of a plain and unintelligent droid, but then looks can be deceiving, as in your case. Ah, it doesn't even say anything. Well, are we going to do something or are you practicing to walk? This is a storeroom where a great deal of the Deltor's weapons are kept. Various other weapons are firmly secured to the exterior of the small structure. On a counter in front of the storeroom are two loose gas grenades. Hmm. Gas grenades, eh? That might be useful, but something tells me he won't appreciate it if we, uh... Marvin! He won't appreciate it if we try and go behind the counter. Oh dear, how inconvenient. Another life form is in a restricted area. How your race manages not to vaporize itself into extinction is beyond me. I guess I'll have to be polite about this. Pardon me for terminating you. The hell? Where did that come from? Thank you for playing Space Quest 1. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all of your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. You quickly glance about the room to see if anyone saw your silly mistake. Better luck next time. 
If you do that while he's fetching your weapon, he just shoots you, but uh, <laughs> I never saw the anvil before. Uh, the trick is to get him to fetch our weapon, and then do it while he's not looking. Oh, how clever. You have an ID card, and my my, what a <laughs> lovely photo of a pre-proto-organic biped you have, too. I guess I'll use my vast resources to fetch your silly weapon for you. Please wait here, if you can handle such a simple command. As soon as he goes in there, we gotta fetch us some grenades. Can only take one at a time, I think. We only need one anyway. Unless you're really stupid and miss, which is possible. And we got a weapon, which is also nice. I'm guessing that weapon won't really help against the big Delta or of the big uh, Therian guard at the star generator, but the gas grenade might. You have a small, innocuous-looking grenade. It's a pulse, pulse ray laser pistol. Remember, this isn't a play toy. Well, let's see if we can uh, get rid of that guard using the toys we just uh, acquired in the next video.